Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well tutorial. Today we're going to focus a little bit more on Jekyll. Jekyll, uh, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, then I'll put a link in the description below, uh, is a static website generator. It's a way of creating static websites. And I'm just thinking about moving from WordPress to Jekyll. Um, this is the blog that I've got here. And today we're going to look at creating a navigation system. This navigation up here. This is the old blog that I've got uh, in data files. Now in the WordPress world, we would obviously create these things in a widget. So that would all be stored in the database. Of course, with Jekyll, it's a, a static site, so there's no database connection at all. So we need to create these things in a data file that then gets parsed in and then used as variables in the template, in the liquid template engine. And we do this uh, like so. So we create a underscore data folder, uh, which is uh, described here, underscore data folder. Now that can take a, uh, a YAML file, a JSON file, or a CSV. And we can then access those things using site.data.members. So that's gonna be an array of these members here. Or, or here if it's in YAML, and then we can loop through them. So I'm gonna do a demonstration of that using uh, this navigation up here. Some of this is, I'm gonna change as I go through as well. Now for this, I'm gonna use Sublime Text instead of uh, the, the console that I used before. So what we need to do, oops, is to create a folder called underscore data. Uh, like so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually create a uh, JSON file in here, so new file. I'm going to call this uh, pages. Uh, in fact, no, sorry, I'm going to call this menu dot uh, JSON, and I'm going to have pages, and that's going to be an array of uh, some objects, like so, and the first one is going to be name and that's gonna just be home. And I'm gonna give it a URL of just slash and a title of, well, what's the title in the um, in the existing site? So do do, if we hover over that, it should UK-based freelance and mobile developer. I'm just gonna say on this that it's just a UK, that I'm just a UK-based uh, freelance uh, web developer. Okay, let's um, create another node in here or another object. And this one is going to be, so we're going to, I'm not going to bother with Peter Fisher. I'm just going to have, um, I'm going to have publications, publications, and that's going to go to publications like so. And this will be uh, books, YouTube and uh, books, yeah, that's books on YouTube, books and YouTube. And the next one I'm going to have, do do, um, well, actually, I'm going to change that to be about, and that's going to be. like that, and that's going to be about Peter Fisher, and then this one is publication, and then the next one, I guess, is going to be a blog, because after all, it is a blog, um, what do I have up here, I want to kind of keep it almost similar, I guess, um, latest blog posts, okay, that's simple enough. latest blog posts from Peter Fisher. Um, oops, that needs to be like that. Okay, that'll do for now. Actually, no, I'll add some more. So I'm gonna add some, another one, which is just contact, like that. Um, that is contact me and I'm missing some whoops, single quotes here, that's uh, fine. And then the next one is just hire me. That's the last one that we're gonna do. 
Um, so hire, hire me, hire me, and then this is gonna be hire Peter. Or uh, trying to remove the third person. Hire me to build your website. Okay. Okay, so, um, and I think, so home, about, publications, blog, contact, that we're also going to have uh, tuition as well, because that's uh, that's quite a, a large thing as well that I need to r remember to include. Tutoring. Tutoring. Uh, da -da -da -da. And what did I have for that? Let's hover over that and see. That is programming tuition. Um, ba -ba -ba. Web development. Tutoring. All right. Okay, that'll do for now. So we've got this uh, JSON, JSON uh, object here. Uh, or array called pages and in there we have an array of of objects whoops um, like so the first one's home then about I'm just double checking all of this is fine looks good to me uh, all the single quotes are in the right place okay good let's uh, let's try this now so save that and then in index what I'm gonna do is use the uh, for each syntax so uh, for and then it's page in. Now we need to do site dot data because site dot data references the data folder here. Then we need to do menu because that's referencing the menu dot JSON file. And then we can iterate through those parts of the or the variables within here. And in the the, the, the first one is pages. So let's do pages like so. Um, and then we close that off with the percentage and then we can do end for so that's ending the the loop excellent okay so now in here we can do well actually before this we're gonna do a ul and then we're gonna close that off ul like this oops and then we can do an li and close that off too. Now, what we can do is access each of these, the portions of each of the, the page uh, object uh, using this syntax. So these curly braces like so. And we do page because we're referencing, whoops. So we're now we're referencing um, this uh, page object. And when, then we can do dot and then name. And if we save that, we should hopefully, if I ran uh, serve again um, and then if I accessed doo -doo here refresh the page now we can see that we have a list of all of the the things that we just supplied so these are all the names that we've just created um, so all of that references um, all of this right so these are all the names okay so if I was to change home to be welcome and save that and then if I was to run this again so we're gonna do a serve and then went back into here and refresh the page we can see that that's been changed to welcome now obviously this is an object and that object has other things so what I can do is access the other parts of this so URL and title for instance we can do this in here if I wanted to create this as an a tag I would do a href and then I would access page.url like so um, and also I can do title is equal to uh, page dot title like that as well okay so obviously we need to clean that so we can just close that like so so now we should have a list of links let's just uh, run this through again um, and see what we got. So 
refresh the page now these are all links now obviously none of these links work at the moment but I hope this is a good demonstration of showing you how to create data sets of uh, data that we can define and then loop through and loop over uh, to pull out the information the variables and the values and so forth now at the moment this is all in the index file I don't want this in the index file I want this in the head header file so what we can do is move some bits and pieces around so let's go into here where we've got the uh, ul so this is in the index file let's just uh, cut that save that and put this in the header so this is a header so I'm just gonna put that in here I'm also gonna do some other bits and pieces here so I'm just gonna have this as a nav um, a, a nav node and save that let's just uh, format that a little bit nicer and just to prove that this works I'm going to change the uh, UL to an OL to give it an uh, an ordered list and if we refreshed then we can see that we have this uh, in the header so that's automatically being changed so now we have this list of, of links okay so that's a, a very quick example of how we can use uh, data files to generate uh, data on the fly this is going to be very useful because like I said on the blog we've got these videos here that are uh, based off of a Python script now the Python script actually generates JSON files so hopefully this is a way I can create these data files on the fly whenever I publish uh, a video and then all I have to do is build the site each time that happens um, which is fantastic so I basically rebuild the site on a nightly basis perhaps so anyway, that's a, a quick demonstration of the data files. I hope that was useful. If you've enjoyed this video, if you've liked it, if you found it helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Do share it around to others that might find it useful too. Um, do subscribe to pick up the latest web chats as well as the tutorials that I do each week. Thanks again for watching. Happy coding. See you again next time. Cheers. <laughs>